Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So my social skills are subpar. So I decided that I was going to go to this event that is happening today and it's like this Christmas social thing. It's called the Gift Exchange. And as you can see, you can probably see my gift in the background there already. I actually worked on my dress last night, but that's like not the focus of this video today. So I might show a few clips of that. Yeah. And since I finished the dress at 2 a.m. this morning, I my eyes look deplorable like you can see the tiredness in my eyes so i'm gonna try this new mask it's the bubble mask it's like or people called it the cloud mask when it was really popular and what it does is just like it foams up on your face and i'm praying that's gonna save me and make my face look a little brighter i'm already pale as it is because i have not seen the sun properly in probably weeks so yeah, let's let's hope this does something. And then I'll put on makeup. And the main focus of this video is gonna be to do my hair. Because I haven't done a proper hair video in a long time. So I'm gonna do like a semi-tutorial. Yeah, yeah, you'll see. I'll put everything together eventually. So the first thing I'm going to do is the mask. Let's see. <laughs> So I'm gonna be a good girl and follow these instructions uh, before I open the pack. I don't know. Can you see it? Yeah. So it's like a face thing. I don't do masks very often, as you can see by the state my face is in. So, right. My face has been washed. I'm going to take this over the pack to see what state it is in. It's like a almost like a wet wipe. Okay. It has bubbles in it already. It's crazy. It smells like dish soap. Who is she? <laughs> she got laugh. Should not lie. You should not lie. Oh, oh! <laughs> I'm literally like putting this soap on my face. <laughs> I need to go wash my hands. Did some get my I need to go wash my hands. I can't even talk properly without it shifting. I need to wash my hands to set my timer. It's like bubbles on my hands already. This is it up close. I don't know how much you can see. But it's like just bubbles everywhere. So this is how I look after 10 minutes. And it's incredibly hard. It's incredibly hard. Not to laugh at myself. So 15 minutes have passed and it still has like all the bubbles on it. So I'm gonna take this off because it actually stings a little. I don't know what I'm supposed to do, but oh, it's sliding. So this is my face all rinsed off, and it is so soft. It's like moisturized and wow, it's really nice. All right, time to start on my hair. Um, yeah. I cannot part to save my life, so I actually got my mother's help in parting. And it looks really cool because she did like this star thing at the back. So I'm kind of excited to see how this turns out. Uh, I'm going to use jam. And if this runs out because it's kind of empty, I'm going to use the red one here wax. This is kind of new to me. 
and it's actually very popular here right now and it smells really good when I smell it in the store yes I did open the product in the store if you don't do that for your product in the store you ain't doing it right to touch up the parts I'm going to use the rat tail I'm going to do bantu knots with extensions to do that I'm going to use Kinecolon yeah I know that people have been saying no that it is not good because it has a coating and stuff on it and I don't rinse mine so yeah but I haven't done braids in like almost a year so this isn't I don't think this is gonna affect me too much if at all so without further ado let's get started I'm not going to use this at this length because that doesn't make sense if I'm going to be rocking up in a bantu. So, get my scissors. Cut this in half. You can probably tell it's probably one of those children that used to give their parents a lot of trouble whenever they got their scissors in their hand. So, I was not allowed a scissors in school. I'm going to comb this out or in other words tease it so that it does not look as blunt as it does on each end once that's done I have so I hope my end isn't too much, but it should be alright uh, Do I start from the front or back? I think I'll start from the back. I'm gonna work with it kind of dry because I stretched it and it's detangled from yesterday when I washed it. So it should be perfectly fun. So, yeah. I got my gem. Obviously, there's not much on it. this much hopefully that works and I usually just put it in like this but I think I'm gonna try this technique that I saw where it is that you take it and you split it in two then you overlap it and have it like this I don't know how this is gonna work I'm really gonna try So that is done. I don't think I'm gonna braid it down all the way to the end because I want the leverage to tuck it in. And that is long. Oh wow. Well, I'm gonna do the rest. I'm trying to make sure that I pull up even portions. This may take me two or three parts based on how much this gives. So if you're doing this style, make sure you have like two or three parts at least. So I'll do this last one and then I will have to shower and do the rest of stuff. So it's the day after the event and I didn't get a chance to record anything at the event because walking with the camera would have been cumbersome. So I'm just going to tell you how it went. We got there around 7.10 and the event started at 7.15 but of course it being a Beijing function it didn't start until a while after so we had to wait for a long time before the gift exchange and during that time my dress got ruined because it was made from satin and the tables they had there were wooden so it hooked on the table and pulled the material so that it had a long stretch of I don't know but it looked like a tear but it's not a tear if you know what how satin pulls and then it just looks weird from there it's basically ruined that's what happened so I now need to go find another use for the satin on the dress after I wore it once so I guess I'll still show you guys the dress I only managed to get one picture with Santa Claus before the dress was ruined 
I'm not sure if I should call him Santa Claus because he was saying he was going for a hot look. But he looked more like a, um, a gangster pirate. This is the hair. It's not as neat now because I don't have as much gel in it so my edges are like sticking out. But yeah. It actually took one pack of Connectalon and I think this should last me a week. So I put on the dress so you guys can see even though it's ruined. Yeah, I guess I could put on this dress. Um, I was really proud of it because it fit me at the waist unlike a lot of my other dresses because my waist is small in comparison to my thighs and my hip. I might actually think about making another one like it so if you want to see the video of me making that dress feel free to put it in the comments down below and i will gladly make a tutorial on how to make the dress yeah so this is a dress and as you can see it fits my waist really nicely and it flows really nicely to my hips and i put these little slits as a nice little fashion highlight on the on the bottom of it and I made like this little hole in the back so it has a little character at the back as well and it ties at the top with a bow. The sleeves are flutter sleeves so they're a little more free looking than if I were to do like a cap sleeve or a normal short sleeve. So it's a simple and elegant dress and the material complements it really well. And I was really happy about that so I don't know. <laughs> as I said I'll try to remake it with another material but I don't think it would turn out as nice as it did with the satin. You can actually see where it's pulled. So it's like a little fluff thing here and it pulled twice. And it's gone all the way down, like right down to mid thigh. And I did it twice. And then you can actually see the dart too. I don't know if you can but yeah you can see how the dart pulled from where it was stitched on both sides. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I don't know if you've noticed the pattern, but I've started recording. I've started posting videos every two weeks. I think I'm gonna stick with that schedule at least until the end of the semester. My semester actually ends next week. But between studying for the exams and stuff, I don't think I will post. So that's two weeks from now. If after that I have time to go back to posting every week, I will, but every two weeks is a vibe from now on. So, thanks for watching. Bye!